What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to UCL. Uh, this week we got a battle. Hopefully you've seen the team builder video. If you haven't, go check it out. So you know why I'm bringing the team I am. But anyways, this week we're going up against the Panish Pangoros, uh, coached by JP, and looks like a pretty threatening team, like every week. I always, <laughs> you know, certain people are doing better than others, but at the end of the day, each week, each team has the ability to take me out. So I really, <laughs> I get nervous, and I put a lot of time into building my teams for this, but... Anyways, uh, let's see what he brought. Um, let's go ahead and challenge him. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> it's one of my more recent OU teams. Here we go. Hopefully he'll post the chat, and, or post the link in the chat and stuff. The ideal would be he doesn't bring Zatu, because then I pretty much just lead off with Garboder. And, um, that should be fine. Try and get up spikes as early as possible. Maybe Heatran. He did not bring Garboder or Torkoal. And he brought Lilligant. I'm shocked. Okay, but he brought Scizor, he brought Gastrodon. Mega Gallade and Crocodile. That's probably Scarf Crocodile. He's got to be running Ice Beam on Gastrodon or Ice Punch on Mega Gallade. He might go for... He might be um, Gigalith with Stealth Rock. I didn't prep too much for Gigalith, to be honest. Lilligant gets destroyed by Salamence and Heatran. I think he gets access to Sleep Powder, too, so that's worth mentioning. Alright then, um, what's the lead? He's probably going to expect the um, Garboder lead. What does he lead with in that case, though? Gallade? And go for, like, Psycho Cut or something? Yeah, I think so. So I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to lead off with Garboder. Oh, he leads off with this. He might be Explosion. I think that's a set that's run. I'm actually going to check right now. <laughs> the beauty of the internet. What does he typically run? Stealth Rock, Superpower, Stone Edge, Rock Blast, Toxic. Okay, so like, if it's a typical set, it can't really um, touch me. He could be running Earthquake, though. We'll see. Regardless, I have Drain Punch, and I outspeed him. So I would be able to get some health back. So I'm actually just going to spike up. He sets up his rocks. That's okay. Um, what does he go into now? I'm, I'm going to spike up again. EQ. Oh, and that was a crit. <laughs> of course. Um, okay, so if EQ was a crit, it would normally do around 50 to 60%. Drain Punch. I heal back half the HP lost by the target. How much would Drain Punch do to this? That's pretty annoying. I do want to save this. Um, especially for its aftermath ability, but I've got two spikes up now too, so like that's gonna help and that's gonna go a long way. Let's assume he's max defense. Drain punch is not gonna do enough to warrant staying in. So what does he do here? EQ? Probably. I can actually who am I kidding? I can just go into my sweet coon here and tank any hit he wants to go for. Wow, that was surprisingly strong. Um, now, we might end up with some ridiculous Gastrodon stalling. Stone Edge did 33%, so I still tank one more. So, what I'm going to do is Calm Mind here. Yeah, I expected Gastrodon. Now, unless he's packing, I don't know, Solar Beam... Um, power Herb Solar Beam or something like that. I'm pretty sure I take this on 1v1. So I'm going to Calm Mind up. Yeah, that does nothing. And so he's running Earth Power. This is going to become a stall fest. Like, I'm not afraid to do this. Okay, so he goes into this. How much would this do? I'm at plus 3 already, so... He's probably Quiver Dance. I mean, that does. It's a pretty strong mon. Um, Giga Drain will do a lot of damage. 
Oh wait, but I'm not at plus three. Giga Drain does like nothing. Skull does like 44, 50%. Okay, so what's the play here then? He probably outspeeds me. So I'm actually just gonna Scald. That's gonna do a good chunk of damage. Burn? Nice. Oh, it's a bulkier set too. Leftovers. Um, he definitely outspeeds me. At plus one, how much damage is he gonna do? Around 30%? Um, yeah, and Giga Drain would heal up a bit, so... I'm not so sure I want to stay in with this anymore. Um, he might go for Sleep Powder. Actually, no, he's got to go for Giga Drain here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got to go for Giga Drain. If my Skull did 32%, um, I actually think I beat this 1v1. Oh, he's Heal Bell. Interesting. Oh, we get a second burn. <gasps> I'll, I'll take it, but like... Okay, um, what does he do here? He's got a Giga Drain, I think. 36%, that did, wow, that did a lot more than I expected. Uh, and Burn won't take him out this turn, actually. But it will on the next turn, so... What I'm actually going to do is go into Heatran here, because he's not going to get enough damage back with Giga Drain. Or he is, just barely, but that's okay, I guess. <laughs> um, now what? Do I just Lava Plume here? Does he go into Gastrodon? Is he running Earth Power with this? He's Quiver Dance, Heal Bell, Giga Drain... Maybe Synthesis? What does he go into here? If he's running Earth Power, that could be bad. Or oh, Sleep Powder. He might be Synthesis. But, like, he's got to go for Synthesis this turn if he's going to go for it. We're still asleep, sad face. I still don't know... Oh, his fourth move is Sleep Powder. He, like, cannot touch me. Yeah, he's got to keep going for Quiver Dances. Wake up! <laughs> Wake up already. I'm pretty sure Lava Plume will still KO. There we go. Catch that Lava Plume. First Pokemon down. Now what does he bring in? Either Crocodile or Gastrodon. Probably Crocodile, to be honest. If he brings in Crocodile... No, he brought in this. I'm surprised. We know he's running Earthquake. Um, Suicune can't really take that anymore, to be honest. He could go for Stone Edge, of course. This is actually a pretty bad place to be, now that I think about it. Um, what do I do here? I want to save Garvoder for Scizor and Gallade at least. Suicune can't switch. Actually, after Rocks, I don't know if Suicune can take a hit. I don't think so, to be honest. I could sack something here and then go into Suicune. I think that's the play. So... Do I get up rocks here? Or do I get some damage on this? I need... I need Heatran to get rid of Scizor, though. Yeah, I'm gonna sack Garbodor, actually. Um, Heatran is a better counter to... Um, Scizor than Garbodor was. I'm sad, I'm sad Garvoder couldn't put in a lot of work, though. Okay, so now I can go into this and uh, hopefully rest up. Yeah, I'm just going to rest here. His attacks are going to do a good amount of damage, but um, it's not going to be enough to 4KO me. Stone Edge does have a good chance of getting a critical hit, though, which is kind of scary. Um, what does he go into here? Scizor. Ooh, he's going to risk getting this thing burnt. Okay. 
he might be SD. Um, and if that's the case, my best play is going straight into Heatran. Because I think he needs... He's going to try and set up on it. Oh, he goes for knockoff, though. Interesting. Um, now I pretty much get off a Lava Plume. Because um, I definitely outspeed Scizor. He likes to run sword, or like um, offensive Scizor, so SD, knockoff. Um, he likes to run x Scissor as well in Bullet Punch, I'd imagine. But I thought he'd run Super Power, specifically for Heatran. But um, what I can do here is just Lava Plume. And I think after Lava Plume damage, I might be able to KO with an HP Grass, actually. Which would be sweet. That that move actually came in handy. That's why it's there. So, if he's, like, max spadef, HP Grass does a minimum of 48.8%. So, I'm thinking HP Grass. Nice. Now that thing's gone, so Suicune is walled by literally nothing. Um, I can actually Healing Wish up my Suicune with Jirachi. This outspeeds me. Um, I don't know if he's running Ice Punch or not. That's the real question. I think... He could be running Drain Punch or Bulk Up. I, I can't afford to let him set up. And I still have Zapdos to deal with Scizor. Hmm, I don't like leaving Scizor. But I don't know what else I sack. I need Suicune. Actually, if he's going to go for Drain Punch or Bulk Up, I can still go into my Jirachi. <clears throat> I can actually paralyze this if I want to. <clears throat> Yikes, that did a good chunk of damage. He might be running Shadow Sneak. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is... I might just Thunder Wave this. How much would Hard Stamp do? It's not going to do a ton. Oh, wait. Forget that this doesn't have hard stamp. Okay, so hard stamp would do like 30 to 36%. Drain Punch would not KO me. He might be running knockoff, though. Hmm. How does Zapdos do against this? Zapdos does pretty well. After rocks, though, I'm not so sure. Um, oh, I don't know. He might just go into Crocodile, though. If I go, if he goes into Crocodile, that's that's very bad. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave. He goes for the bulk up. All right, but at least he's slow now. This thing is scary though. Now after that bulk up. <laughs> um, I might need to go for some Heart Stamp shenanigans. So, I'm actually going to go into Heatran here. If he kills it, that's okay. Um, I kind of expect that. Because now... Uh, do I go into this? And Heart Stamp away? Or do I go into Zapdos? I'm pretty sure I tank one hit. One Zen Headbutt. Although he doesn't like to run Zen Headbutt. And I can Roost. Hmm. I can't burn him at this point. I am max defense, but Mega Gallade is strong. So, yeah, plus one. 
Mega Gallade is doing quite a bit of damage with close combat, though. He runs Drain Punch. Which wouldn't do as much as a close combat, for sure. But it's still scary. Especially when he could try to bulk up on me. And I very much need... Suicune. Ooh, this is, this is a little bit more of a pinch than I expected. I don't have a lot I can Dragon Dance up against, actually. Yeah, now that I think about it, I don't have a lot I can Dragon Dance up against with Salamence. I might just go in here and... And Outrage for damage. How much would Outrage do? Also, sorry, JP, I know I'm taking a while. Oops, this is the wrong set. Outrage would do a ton of damage. Oh, but his defense is at plus one. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk that. Let's go into Salamence and just Outrage here. Oh, uh, or do I do I Outrage though? <laughs> he could just go into Gigalith. Or Scizor, for that matter. He might try to save this. And go into Scizor. Hmm. <laughs> Megas Elements is not green. <laughs> this is just shiny. Um... If I outrage and he goes into Gigalith, I pretty much die. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. Don't break through, don't break through! Hype! <laughs> okay, so at plus one, how much is Outrage doing? 76 to 89. So... Zen Headbutt would KO me. Drain Punch will not. He might be running Ice Punch, he could have Knock Off. I actually think the play here is to Dragon Dance again. No! That's what I was afraid of. Um. This is not looking good. I've got a sleep talk here. I've already burnt off one turn. This is actually looking really bad. Calm Mind is not what I needed, Suicune. Okay, I wake up on this turn. So, I need to rest. I'm pretty sure Suicune is my only chance of winning this. No, Suicune, I need Scalds! No, Suicune. I need you to get scalds on him. Finally. Okay, that's that's some some good damage. Okay, so that was two sleep talks. I I think I scald here. Yeah, I scald here. Good amount of damage. Drain punch though. Yikes. Now, obviously, I can rest here. Yeah, I think I need to rest here, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Scald would put in work, but then whatever comes in would revenge kill me, so rest is the play. Let's hope for some paralysis. Yikes, he's gonna heal back so much. I've got to hope for some paralysis, otherwise he's gonna more than three, or he's definitely three hit KOs me. He bulks up again though. I don't think that was the play to be honest, but... Come on. No, stop getting rests! That's gonna KO! Oh no.
Okay, I've got to go into Jirachi here. And... Threaten with Heart Stamp. Heart Stamp. Does he see that coming, though, and just go into Crocodile? I think he does. Or not. Ah, uh, this sucks. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well, I've got to hope for some paralysis shenanigans. I 2 a KO him. That's going to KO me. And that's going to be GG. Wow. Yeah. Darn it. Yep, GG. So there's our first loss. Ugh! This sucks. <laughs> um, Alright, so what do I think happened there? Um, I didn't really have an answer to this. Um, as long as Crocodile was alive. I think the main thing was Salamence didn't have an opportunity to set up. Uh, I was expecting to be able to set up on Pokemon like... Luxray or Torkoal or Zatu or something like that with my Lumberry, but he brought a lot of just straight up offense um, and not a lot of status users. So really the only Pokemon I could have set up on would have been Lilligant, and I didn't set up on it. So Salamence was pretty much useless, and I had to go for some para hacks there. And Salamence was a huge, like, the centerpiece of my team, and everything else was pretty much built to, like, get damage on the rest of his Pokemon so that Salamence could sweep. I didn't get to use Jirachi early on as much as I would have liked, because I had to rely on Heatran a lot. Um, so yeah, good game to JP, and hopefully we do better in the next week. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.